I know this video has nothing to do with motorcycles or Jeeps or even cars sucking for that matter but my electric mower quit and I put new brushes in the motor thought I'd film it and share with you first thing you gotta do is take this cover off It's four Torx screws I tell you if you're thinking about getting one of these mowers it's fantastic the thing is simple it's light it's quiet it's smooth I, I dig it it's a mulching mower with a bagger or you can not use the bag there's the screw it's a torque screw with a slotted screwdriver slot as well just a standard screwdriver could work too but it's t20 screws get the cover off there's the mo motor I'll zoom in on it we're going to replace the shunted brushes they're underneath these little caps take another torque screw off and they're inside a metal cage there it is and that one is spent look how tiny it is barely sticks out the end with the, of the case so that's the problem one go ahead and check the other one too and it's much larger it, so that one's still working it's just the first one that's bad so I'm going to cut it off and replace it it's a the lead that comes with the brush is crimped to the wire of the mower so I'm going to cut it off restrip that wire and then here's the new brush comes in a bag just google that number you'll find them Here it is out of the bag. So it's just brush material with a braided copper wire coming out of it. We're going to crimp that wire to the wiring harness. And I don't have the little crimps they had, so I just used a blade, a female blade connector, put both wires in, crimped it on, and then I'm going to cut the connector part off, just using the crimp part of this connector. So any stay con or anything like that would work got to be kind of small to fit in the spot that uh, it tucks into. You'll see that in a bit. So I've got it crimped on. I'm just going to cut the connector part off, leaving the crimp. I suppose I could have soldered them together too, but this works pretty good. That's how it was done originally. I'm just going to tuck that back in the brush case wire goes towards the slotted side it's spring loaded so you gotta kinda hold it together while you put it back in and it just tucks in to a groove in the plastic part of the motor case then you gotta stick the crimp back down in its hole get in your hole don't you like your hole there you go Put the cap back on, tighten the torque screw up. And the other side, it wasn't bad. I could replace it now while I got it apart, but it's so easy. I'm just going to save the second brush I bought and go ahead and put it back together, wait for it to fail. And again, I attempted to put it in backwards. So the wire comes out the slotted side of the case and then that wire points towards the hole where you tuck the crimp into not that hard it won't let you put it together wrong tighten that screw up and we're done inside just gotta put the case back on this project is so simple you know if you've got an electric mower electric snow thrower any electric appliance where the motor just quits it's probably the brushes and the only thing on this mower is the switch up top the electric motor and the wire going between there's just not much that can go wrong so once I get all the screws put back in we'll put it on the ground and plug it in and make sure it works So 
Don't be afraid of this one. It's easy. You got it. Mow on, I guess.